Good day everyone, my name is Teacher Lucky and I am your discussant for today. Before anything else, let's have first a simple exercise. I want to determine whether if you have any knowledge about our lesson that we're going to discuss. The title of this exercise is Travel to East Asia. As you move around the East Asian countries, group each picture according to the country they belong to by giving its number under the correct heading. I will give you 5 seconds to think of the answer. After that, I will reveal the correct answer. So let's start. The correct answer is China. Very good. Next. The correct answer is Japan. Very nice. Next. The correct answer is Korea. Very good. Next. The correct answer is Japan. Very good. Next. The correct answer is Korea. Nice one. Next. The correct answer is China. Nice job. For our next exercise, let's measure your learnings and skill in understanding the previous lesson. You have learned in the previous lesson that the Southeast Asian countries has rich and popular artworks like sculpture. For this activity, give the origin and brief description of the following prominent sculptures and where it is made of. Number 1. Temple of Borobudur Number 2. Relief Sculpture Number 3, Merlion. And number 4, Sri Mariamam. Today, we're going to talk about elements, principles, and characteristics of art inspired by East Asian countries like China, Japan, and Korea. Let's start with a brief recap on the different elements and principles of art. Point gives the eye an area to focus on. Point also shapes how the eye connects a specific area as to create an image. A line is a moving point that occurs naturally in the world. Form along with shape and mass essentially defines an object in space. Color is very important in design because it has the power to change the mood or meaning of art. Texture is used in art to help describe the form of an object. This can create the illusion of texture in his or her artwork. Movement as a design element is the act of moving from one place to another, while pattern is the repetition of a form. It can be used to create a structure that organizes a piece of art. Visual balance creates a focal point that helps the viewer recognize the main subject. Rhythm in a static image may be difficult to comprehend sometimes, but a piece of art can have a movement to it that the eye follows. Proportion, on the other hand, is the size of the relative parts that make up a whole object or form. It is used as a reference for architecture, everyday tools, objects, and painting. 
today, I will showcase different arts and crafts in East Asia. And we are going to analyze what elements and principles of art are evidently shown. Let's begin with China. The character of Chinese painting, like that Chinese calligraphy, is closely bound up with the nature of the medium. The basic material is ink, formed into a short stick of hardened pine soot and glue, which is rubbed to the required consistency on an ink stone with a little water. Chinese calligraphy is the written form of Chinese that unites the languages spoken in China. The early Chinese written words were simplified pictorial images indicating meaning through suggestions or imagination. The following are the elements and principles of art used in the artworks of China respectively. In Chinese painting, line, shape, value, color, space, balance, contrast, movement, and unity. While in Chinese calligraphy, line, value, contrast, and pattern. Now, let's move on to the arts and crafts of the Japanese. Origami is the art of paper folding. Its name derives from the Japanese word on, meaning folding, and kami, meaning paper. Traditional origami consists of folding in a single sheet of square paper into sculpture without cutting, gluing, pink, or even making it. Woodblock printing is a technique best known for its use in the ukiyo-e artistic genre of single sheets, but it was also used for printing books in the same period. Kabuki makeup is also another way of face painting which has two types. Standard makeup applied to the most actors and Kumadori makeup applied to the villains and heroes. It is composed of very dramatic lines and shape using colors that represent certain qualities. Anime is a term for a style of Japanese comic book and video cartoon animation in which the main characters have large doe-like eyes. Anime is the prevalent style in Japanese comic books or manga. Storylines are often very sophisticated and complex and extend into episodic series. The following are the elements and principles of art used in the art breaks of Japan respectively. In origami, line, shape, color, texture, balance, and pattern. In woodblock printing, line, color, form, space, texture, balance, pattern, and rhythm. While in anime, line, shape, form, color, value, space, texture, balance, contrast, emphasis, and unity. Last but not the least, let's talk about the arts and crafts of the Koreans. Theater masks were often made of alder wood, with several coats of lacquer to give the mask gloss and waterproof them for wearing. They usually also painted and often had hinges for mouth movement. Book is a traditional Korean drum which is used to refer to shallow barrel-shaped drum with a round wooden body that is covered on both ends with animal skin. Chango, also spelled as Changko or Changgu, hourglass-shaped drum used in much of Korea's traditional music. It is about 66 cm long and has two heads stretched over hoops. One of these is struck with a hand and the other with a stick. K-pop is a genre of popular music originating in South Korea. While the modern form of K-pop can be traced back to the early 90s, the term itself has been popularized since the 2000s. The following are the elements and principles of art used in the art breaks of Korea respectively. Theater mask, line, shape, color, texture, form, pattern, and rhythm. In drums, line, color, form, shape, balance, pattern, and unity. While in K-pop, line, shape, 
color, value, space, balance, pattern, movement, and rhythm. In East Asia, the objects or items that are usually put into paintings are called subjects, themes, or motifs. This may be about animals, people, landscapes, and anything about environment. For China, the subjects or theme are categorized into the following. Flowers and birds, landscapes, palaces and temples, human figures, bamboos and stones, and animals. For Japan, there are only two categories, scene from everyday life and narrative scenes crowded with figures and details. In South Korea, landscape, paintings, minwa, or the traditional folk painting, the four gracious plants, bamboos, and portraits. So that's it. Those are the elements, principles, and characteristics of art inspired by East Asian countries of China, Japan, and Korea. If you have any questions, clarifications, or additional information, let you and your teacher discuss it in your e-classroom. For our first activity entitled Your Arts and Crafts Sounds Familiar, you are going to identify the subjects, themes, or motifs of the paintings. Write the answer on the worksheet provided. This is the sample answer for the activity. For our second activity, we are going to make a painting using a coffee that we usually see in our house. For the inspiration or theme for this activity, you can use Chinese painting like nature, landscape, flowers, fishes, or plants and you can also use indigenous materials available in the locality. These are the materials to be used in making this activity. You need to have pencil, 4 tablespoons of instant coffee powder, Oslo paper, brush, natural varnish, container, and tissue. For the first container, mix 2 tablespoons of coffee powder with 3 tablespoons of water. Mix it well to get a medium color. For the second container, mix 2 tablespoons of coffee powder with 2 tablespoons of water. Mix it well to get a dark coffee color. Trace a design on the Oslo paper or illustration board. Apply medium color paint to be the base of any picture. Apply the dark color paint to do the darker shading and outlines. Darker shade gives out a glossy effect for the picture. If you want a lighter shade, just mix few more drops of water. When the whole painting is done, apply with the natural varnish coating. And you're done! Visit this link to learn more on how to create an easy and interesting activity like this coffee painting. To check your artwork, these are the criteria or the rubric to be used in assessing your work. Please be guided. Assessing your activity shall come from three sources. Number one, the learner next the parent, and last, the teacher. For the wrap-up activity, answer the following questions on the worksheet provided. Number one, what are the significance of the arts and crafts to the people of the East Asian countries? Number two, how can we better understand and appreciate the work of art of these beautiful countries? For our last activity entitled Do-It-Yourself Caricature, make a caricature of faces using dots and lines to express your emotions and the lesson you have learned in East Asian arts. Explain your drawing. For our post-test entitled Match and Fill, written below are the descriptions of the arts of China, Korea, and Japan. A world pool is given and contains the arts and crafts that match the description. Write your answer on the worksheet provided.
Here's your reference to verify if your answers are correct in pretest and in post-test. Have fun! Good luck!